Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, in the last episode, we snuck three uh, settlers here, and then off screen, I added another settler. So there are now, there will now be four towns in this area. So <laughs> uh, we are encroaching on the uh, Oleg's area, and. Uh, Oh, and then we are again encroaching even more. We're building up more and more bulwarks in this area so that uh, we see this is this is how, how it looks like. So this is we can see this is his territory. I'm surprised how come it shows that he has 23 one uh, right? It shows on the uh, Imperial on the overall map one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen oh he's got yeah he's he's got close to about 23 cities and they're all in the northern part So from our side, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that, you know, we box him in. So he has been, apparently he has lined up all these, all the edge of the screen and he has been coming down here. And so we're trying to block him off and, uh, and right now we have, uh, let, no, okay, let us, we have. I have set up three uh, settlers here. So these are not ideal spots. These are just cities to block him off. And then hopefully uh, here in the middle, I will have uh, maybe another another settler over here so that we can block him off uh, close to the to this side, maybe here. See, look, he ha he's been setting sending uh scouts uh sorry scout scout so he's been sending scouts to uh check us out so i think i will be continuing to press wait what is on this side so what i wanted was to have this spot over here because this spot allows us to be able to mine coal and pottery and then I will be linking it up to this uh, over here. So this plum will now have. I will. Good thing we haven't developed this this uh, town very much. So I will be de-emphasizing de uh, pottery here, and then uh, in, then in while in well I'll be strengthening coal and pottery here, so that this plum will now. Plum will now operate with just four uh, basic industries. Would be so we can in, greatly increase the amount of wines being produced here. So that's that's the plan. And so I have moved. Okay, so we we will have that. We will have this one will be uh, food manufacturing. So this one will be mat materials. And then uh, what 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 is is sour sap. Okay, we will name this Soursop West. Although it is not related to the quadrant of Soursop, but hopefully we can, over time, as they mature, we can, uh, we can, what do you call this, uh, re remap Soursop uh, West. We can remap or, or we can reroute the uh the the oh, trade beautiful. route so that we can actually maximize what uh, so this one will be primarily coal and pottery yeah okay sarasap west okay and then this one will be all about food manufacturing 
So this would be again grain, honey, cake, beer, and fruits. So that means uh, th there will be a quad that goes this way. Hey, what happened to oh? Okay, that is okay. Okay, uh, we will. That is the trader for this group over here. How many uh, carts does he have? He has eleven. Let's add one more cart to what he has. Okay, and then uh, can we beef up more? Yep, we can beef up a little bit more of his. So we're stealing from this quad over here uh, to beef up. Okay. And then uh, this one will be food and then we will call it Plum North. Because, uh, yeah, we'll be linking it up with. A beautiful land. So this perma. Wow, that's quite a distance away, huh? Uh, but that's okay. Uh, this would be food, right? Okay, grain and cakes. So I have learned that cakes is uh, the requirement for cakes is not that high. Uh, Wow, okay, and also, this is also, uh, okay, uh, this is producing textile, right? But they are not producing, they are not producing garments. So these needs to produce garments. This again will be also textile, so, and fish. Right? We will call that, what to call that? Uh, plantain fish, plantain fishery. Is that plantain at the bottom? Yeah. Or let's say papaya fishery. Uh, Papaya fishery. The reason is that a beautiful land. We will still link this up with this guy. See what happens is that uh, this this one has has already the all three parts, right? The wool. Uh, what do you call it? wool, uh, fur, and textile? But uh, it, it is not producing any uh, garments at all. So here we will. What we can do here? Okay, this will be fish again. This will be fishy, fishy garments. Right? Okay. So that means if we connect all of them like this, wow, this would be a very interesting combination. Meaning it would be a, a, a pent going this way. Uh, hold on, let's see what would be the best layout for our road system so that the traveling will be maximized. What I'm trying to get at is that if we have two of these close together, uh, initially I was just thinking going straight up, just getting this uh, this quad starting with plum. Uh, let's see if we can make a road from here to here. How about a road from here to here? You know, I was hoping uh, 
it will narrow it down here so that we don't have to travel as far right see from here to here oh it goes that way what if it is from here to here Oh, it will not. Okay. Uh, huh. You know what? Let me save it real quick because uh, I'm trying to experiment on routing. I don't know how the road will work out because uh, if we have a road system where it actually it actually what do you call this? Uh, if it narrows it down, let's say between here and here uh, it won't do it huh hmm. looks good and then from here to here looks good okay and then from here to here the scenic see route. this is what I meant see it has this uh, curving here so from here to here it will now how about from here to here oh I see a good choice how about from here to here yes that's what I meant I was hoping for similar like a similar Y like route. that because if it's up here then it shortens the route from here to here right uh, so we can have this function as a quad that goes that goes this way or let's do a pen so it goes all the way like this wow uh, interesting right because uh, we have food manufactory here we have food manufactory here uh, the travel time will take very long I, I mean uh, hmm. So I mean this route this route here this quad will not this trade route will not be making a lot of money primarily because uh, if we have this quad on top of this triad here hook up with two of these over here or even six of them uh, or three of them so this this quad is not going to make a lot of money uh-huh okay and then oh I I still have to get the uh, trader to come all all the way to this other side and we have a bunch of we have a bunch of uh, settlers going all the way towards uh, North Africa the problem is the travel time takes forever because they're coming all the way from the north from Sofia and okay a good choice so now we can get this guy and his travel route would be this one no 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 his travel route would be no let's cancel it would be from here to here to here to here and to here and vice versa the route is ready see the 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 other part here we don't we See, I intentionally kept this thing open because I was planning on sh moving all of wool, fur, and textile here, and then they will build the uh, they will build the uh, garments here. However, if we uh, concentrate it here, I don't know yet how this is going to be 
because we can actually do another uh, couple of cities here one here and another here so that they can now travel back and forth right I mean from here to here that's another river and then another city here and it'll link up to here so I so I don't know what to do with that one yet uh, is there okay uh, wait now that we've we have done this this will be let's work with two of these first uh, two of these and one of that right we've done this right uh, no no we have not done this that's the two two of these two of that uh, one of these and then can we get this thing done yes and then we will get this thing working we'll work on that one and how about here uh, if we got two two and one can this thing get done also oh yeah okay and then we will now get this thing moving get that thing moving okay and then for the port the fish <laughs> okay let's get uh, maybe two of that two of the fish and let's get this thing done yep and then let's get this thing done right and then we start making the other stuff okay uh that sounds good now uh so they're all what short 125 125 125 the good thing is that we are so close to these big cities over here not these ones these are not that big yet we're close enough yeah like this one this is pretty big uh we can quickly get these these places populated sarsap west from here uh, hmm. Okay, let's send them to Soursop West. P S. Let's get the S. Wow, we have so nope. Soursop West. Wow, it takes still four months to get there. Okay. How about this one? Okay, they will take it to Plum North, right? The Plum North. Plum North, yes. Oh, three and a half months. Not too bad. That's Plum North <clears throat> and then Plum Fishery from here. <laughs> what? No, not that. A oh, papaya fishery. Okay. <laughs> so Sorry about that. A uh, papaya fishery. I was wondering how come there is no, okay, there is no papaya. Four point one months. Okay. Uh, <coughs> and we've got the trader moving, right? Checking, yep. He is assigned to that one and then uh, so so 
like we have i'm also i've also sent uh so this is the very first trader coming here uh settler i mean and this looks like an all around in heavy industrial base because it's got pottery it's got metal and hopefully the coal this is coal over here so we are setting him here on the way and then the other thing is that uh where there is pottery that will also represent um uh ability to make uh bricks so this portion here i think we can use this portion over here so we can use this portion for let's say bricks woods uh salt and bacon and then maybe one over here for uh something over here for the uh, pelt uh, for the fur uh, the garments and then maybe up here for uh food so that it would be the quad will be going maybe this way like yeah it's like a curved is a curve it will be an arc and then maybe from the here we can tie it to this one over here so that's why uh this would de depend what's that huh bandit hide up oh saracens oh ouch uh ow okay uh that means we will have to send soldiers down here that can actually protect these uh okay uh saracens wow fashion so we need to update all of these two right uh fashion okay but with so we need to get this oh this port is not moving up uh okay it is important we get this thing done first because uh without that we cannot expand remember uh uh without a chapel i think we're limited to on only 50 not even 50 maybe like 20 something uh something uh, uh factories so these things are not moving yet okay uh so we have got that going uh let's see if we can get this going oh we're short uh, okay let's get that going too and maybe one of these two okay see uh how about this per almon per almon uh huh okay how about can we get this thing going oh we're still short so rather than wait for that can we do this yeah let's do that okay and then this one Is metal short or no? Yeah, okay. Metal is the one that's short. Okay. Then let's do this one. Because that one suddenly... Yeah, if we don't... Oh. Okay, uh, now that we have uh, those three cities uh, added in, let us check what our empire looks like. Uh, if we go into uh, the big PS four square uh rectangular button press empire and we have 211 cities and our population base is almost a million and a half it's 1,478,000. and it is year 1082 week 14 so uh we the latest is wait if i'm using the left stick down then i can move to the right the left and right on the left stick left and right so once that thing that little button is highlighted now we can scroll down on the on the right side of this on the right 
square of this one uh the the latest we the latest title we earned was the Tsar of Russia, second from the top, uh, right below Jarl of Scandinavia. We picked that one up off screen while I was uh, I was sneaking that fourth city here, like this one, Vladivostok North. So it, remember, in the last episode, we snuck in three settlers here. I found that I could s sneak in another one over here. And so now it is important for us to develop a uh, a trader, and s like this guy over here, I have two guys over here, and then no, not that guy, uh, maybe another guy, yes, this guy, and then uh, load him up with tons of stuff. I mean, a really good stuff, right? Uh, so. Uh, Okay, I think I might have to move it move him out here. Yes, I think move him out here So we can pick up all those carts Is this one continue to make carts? No more, okay, so that he will have a long What do you call supply? I mean Okay, let's move him over here so he'll pick up all the uh, all the items or all the as much brick uh, wood and a little so he'll pick up the carts first and then we'll send him back to dandelion so he'll, he can pick up uh, wood bricks and uh, tools and once we have that we can send him over here and service this quad so that we can we can massively you know put this this thing on steroids so that they grow very very quickly so that's the plan uh in terms of trying to get that uh quad up and running not only that up and running and strong because they are these quad is within sergey or orlev's uh orlev's uh, what do you call this uh dominion and uh that's what we will do and then also over here okay we will need to cordon off this place also we'll have to set up two more maybe two more uh cities over here so that we actually anyway we'll just populate this area so that uh we will have a very strong bulwark when it comes to uh uh fighting when we get into hostilities and also when we earn the title of uh sar of Tsar of Russia. We also pick up this general. Uh, what is his name? His name is Alexander Newski. Uh, he is the uh, remember uh, on here. Yeah, Alexander Newski. Uh, no, no. Uh, this one, Alexander Newski. We picked him. We picked up Alexander Newski, and now we have the ability to produce mounted warriors. Uh, I don't know what mounted warriors do. Are they treated as cavalry or are they treated as melee people? I do not know. There are three like dashes just below the mounted warrior, or just left to the left of the mounted warrior. I think it might mean that they can. They're like mounted archers, maybe, so that they can do melee and at the same time they can do uh range weapons i don't know maybe uh because we do have mounted archers and also uh the picture shown on the map says indicates those are arrows so presumably they are both archers and melee people anyway uh i don't know what that thing means until we produce it right so i am currently uh in uh oh What am I producing? So are we crossbow, spearmen, cavalry, mounted archers? So that's the one we, and I'm producing a trebuchet, swordsman. Oh, we cannot produce those guys. So I might have to build. So maybe that's too low. There's not. Maybe it's got to be up here. 
Anyway, so I will develop a, uh, oh, see, like, they have scouts over here. Well, they're spying on us. So we have to, wow, 